Institute in Prague and with Veronica's dad. Uh, Veronica's brother is gonna okay. Veronica's brother's gonna join us at some point, you know, what's happening with him. I think they might be pissed off with him for some reason. Um getting over Veronica's dad maybe not so uh shouts and this bit this last night. He's pointing at something. Pointing at something. Um yeah, gave me lots of shots last night. Really hung over had a bad night's sleep, so but um, just need some coffee and uh, break myself to get through this. Still pointing at a thing. What's, what's the thing? Oh, oh, no touching. No touching. Triskové, proudové, no vrtule. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, no touching because your hand might get chopped off. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, yeah, where's the. It hasn't got a forward wordy bit, has it? Yeah. There we go, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So, uh, bring it on. It's attempting to get me drunk. I'm not having any. I'm not having my espresso, got my coffee on my over. You can, you can double up. I'm resisting this one. So this section is pretty cool. Loads of planes here. Loads of um, ex Cold War planes, um, and loads of helicopters here as well. Uh, good thing is, there's the Jack and there's the English. You can actually understand what these are all about. This one really caught my eye. It's a uh, USSR attack helicopter. Check out all the weapons on this sucker. You got one there, you got a machine gun thing there, massive missile thing there. I think it's quite similar on the other side. Yeah, that's that's the big boy. That's the Mac Daddy of uh, helicopters. Just found what's meant to be a British plane, although uh, don't really understand. Maybe something else. So, <laughs> British plane, Gloucester Meteor, British flag. So it looks looks the same on there, mostly. Then we get to the wings. Is that the German flag? No. no. Germany brought the plane? I know, I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Yeah, so within two minutes I can figure that one out. Yeah, it's it's a translation, isn't it? The English thing. It's a translation of every every different plane. So like the plane before was German, it was just a translation of the description. This is what happens, kids, when you uh, drink um, lots and lots of shots the night before you come to the museum. You just... No brain, no brain right now. Oh, I had one espresso slowly kicking in. I'm gonna need another five, I think, before I'm anywhere near them. So hit so. Yay. I uh, just found a phantom. That's uh, American made. Uh, and it's blue. It's quite obvious when you think about it. But that would be the best colour when you're flying a, a jet plane up in the sky, right? Because it'll make you harder. Spot I me, mean, obviously, you've got radar, so it doesn't make a huge difference. But yeah, I mean, most of the, the, the planes are just like green or like a, a shade of grey, but yeah, blue. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, this block probably isn't going to get much better, so um, good luck. So now we're in some kind of fighter jet section. Lots of uh, jets over there, one over there. Going from um, the blue plane I just saw, take the spec on, on this one. Probably would have been in, inconspicuous again. And uh, yeah, I think someone kind of got that wrong. Got that wrong. I think that is going to be spotted fairly fucking easily. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want to go up in that. I, I, I'd prefer the blue plane. Anti aircraft missile right there behind me. And anti. Craft gun. Right there. Um, Veronica's dad's mission to get me drunk is uh, failing. Wahaha. I'm combating it quite well, I think. And I just stopped for a beer. Um, and you wouldn't get me a pint, I reduced that down to a half. But it wasn't looking, I poured half of the half into his pint. So that means I've had a quarter of a pint. Um, it's not even midday. Uh, that, that makes uh, a pint and a quarter of beer for him. Um, and 
and um, where is he? There he is. And two shots, which is probably more drink than uh, I have on most nights out. So there we go. And it's not even midday. Um, there's Veronica's brother, just arrived. Uh, we finally got a translator, so we could translate between us. Thank fuck for that. Just reading up on uh, a guy who fought for the Allied forces. Came from Czech, uh, Czechoslovakia back then. Uh, it was World War II. Uh, he was a big hero. He was the driving force behind uh, getting Czech pilots to uh, fight for the RAF. So uh, he probably saved thousands of lives um, with the amount of additional pilots he was able to, to bring in uh, that joined the RAF. I have uh, been to the Battle of Britain Memorial um, in, in Kent and um, there's um, a bit where lots of names are listed, uh, the people who died and gave their lives uh, in the Battle of Britain. And there's lots and lots of Czech names listed. And um, yeah, this guy is probably the driver, of course, behind all of those names being involved, uh, helping the, um, the UK and the Allied forces, the Allied by Allied forces to win the Battle of Britain. But what happened with this guy is that, um, 1948, he tried to come back to the country, to uh, back from uh, the UK uh, to Czech. Uh, so he was coming back home, and um, he was imprisoned because um, I think that was when communism really started kicking in in Czech. So um, yeah, for political reasons, weird political reasons, which I don't really understand, he was imprisoned. A war hero imprisoned. Um, says on the board that he tried to, he came to Czechoslovakia and then he tried to leave again, but I just spoke to uh, Frenoka's brother and he said, well, yeah, the, the communist, communists at that time made up bullshit stories just uh, for a reason to um, imprison people. So, uh, yeah, very strange, very strange that um, a war hero would be imprisoned, but apparently that was quite commonplace um, when communism came in. So, uh, wow, yeah, R Russia, you, you sound like you were complete dicks after the war. Um, we are all on the same side, weren't we? We were all doing the same thing to beat the Nazis. Uh, so, yeah, what was the point? What was the point in that? Also, does it cost money to put people in prison? Don't understand, don't understand. But, um, anyway, nice little picture just to finish this bit on. Hey, looks like my mum's boyfriend, Bill. Yeah, there we go. Good. So this is called, uh, what, 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 what's this called? Uh, statue polishing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's getting bigger, it's getting bigger. <laughs> Attempting to get me drunk. I'm not having any. I'm not having my espresso. Got my coffee. On my over. You can. You can double up. <laughs> I'm resisting this one. This is sort of Irish version of this song. <laughs> 